Hey guys, welcome back to Harvest Moon Animal Parade. In the last episode, we managed to ring the red bell. And so we've got our first bell of four rung. And we're just going to continue on through the mine district and other parts of town to see who's been affected by the red bell. So the first place we're going to go is Ramsey's, and we're going to talk to him again. Check out the forge. So the fire is burning again. Now that the now that the flame is back, we can work with copper and silver again. Now we can make your tools even stronger. Yay! So now we can actually come to Ramsey and we can get all of our tools fixed up. He doesn't do gold or rare right now. Then the way that you make him give you better stuff is you just send mining equipment in the shipping box so you send ores wonderfuls and gems and things like that so that's the first thing that's fixed is that ramsey can now fix our tools because his fire is hot enough and we're actually going to go all the way to harmonica town to go visit our next set of people and if we do go back to the harvest spring we will see that alan is over there but i'm not going to do that now just because I don't really feel like it, there's not really any other purpose besides that by going over there, so. So I'm just gonna make my way back to my farm and then all the way back to Harmonica Town, which is kind of a long, long walk from here, unfortunately. And there's actually something on our farm that got fixed as well. It's not just other people that are affected, it's, uh, it's us as well. So if I move to the very back of my property, picking up these mushrooms as I go, I have over here a hot spring limit so we can use it once per day and what it does is it will recover some of your stamina. Before it wasn't hot enough so we couldn't use it so I'll just use it so you can see what it looks like. So basically you just sit there and steam and relax and then once you hop out it'll say you are no longer tired your energy is back and it restores some of your stamina so you can use that once a day on top of mushrooms and all the other food you find so it makes your stamina go a long way just remember to use it wisely because you can only use it once a day and there's only one hot spring in this game so that's it on our farm. I'm just going to make my way all the way over to Harmonica Town and just go visit some more people. So, maybe pick up some stuff along the way. And there is a faster way of transporting, we just haven't found it yet. And mind you, it's not even that much faster once you actually do get it, which is kind of a pain, but. We'll get into that later. So back in Harmonica Town, I don't know if we can actually go in there yet because I don't think they're open. But as you can see, oh, well, this is something totally unrelated. But anyways, we can talk to Yolanda and Shelly who are having a nice conversation and they'll stop you. How's it going? Well, it's actually going pretty good. I'm getting a lot accomplished. Thanks for asking. It must be great to be so young. I can barely remember those days. Yeah, getting old kind of sucks. I hear you, Shelly. You're not even that old. God. Hey, I can make you a drink so that'll energize you. I'll get started right away. You should help out Shelly as well. Well, I'll help out Shelly. And Shelly is actually going to make us a really good offer. But you don't have to do things for me. I don't want to trouble you. Well, trouble me because I get something good out of it. I can make you a nice rucksack for your efforts. She will make you a rucksack that will improve your slots by five, which is nice. The only problem is that she needs some stuff. She needs some wool to make new clothing, so she needs wool to make the rucksack, and then for whatever 
Fear agrees that she needs 10 green herbs. So Shelly's gonna ask us for wool, it doesn't matter what quality, and green herbs, which we've seen laying around many times. Um, there's many options for the wool. You can either buy a sheep, or you can wait until there, there's a festival at the end of the month that we can go to, that we can buy some wool. I think we can actually buy the wool from Horn Ranch as well. So let's go to the inn. And we see Maya and Yolanda and Chase, and they look very happy. Hey, the stove's fire is back to normal. Ew, she just sticks her fingers in there. That's... that is not hygienic. Yep, but that's delicious. Now I can finally cook things properly. This town has really changed for the better since you showed up. Aw, oh, shucks, I know. Check out our new expanded menu. So, there's more people that we've helped. So now if we actually talk to them... I don't know if she gets more stuff at the moment, but eventually she gets more food, more drinks, and better menus. Um, I do believe for, that, for these guys you have to ship crops to get their store to improve. But anyways, now, now their problems are fixed, they can cook better and hopefully do some better business. And the next place that I want to go is the Brass Bar, because we can go there, but I can't do it right now, because they're not open. So I'm just giving my a present. Sucking up to her. I think they're, I think they're open at 4, and it's not even 1 o'clock. It's 1 o'clock, so I'm just going to wait. In the meantime, though, I'm going to go to the church. Take a stroll up here. Because there's somebody in here that we need to talk to as well. So let's go here. If we get to church, let's talk to Myra. Hello. We're going to try to convince Myra to come back to the accessory store. Maybe I should try something. Maybe you should go back to the accessory store and do your job. Oh, the accessory shop. I used to work there with my husband. But yes, we know he passed away. You're ready to go back. But Julius is doing a fine job there. Eh, nah, no he's not. Julius needs your help. <laughs> he really does. Oh my, Julius isn't doing well? Well, that's not good. I'll go there right away. Thank you for telling me. So, we got Myra to go back and do her job, which is significant. And I don't think I'll have time this video to do it, but I will be demonstrating what she actually does for us in this game. So that was all that we needed to do. We just needed to go talk to Myra, so let's leave again. So she won't be dot she won't be at the church anymore. If you are interested to talk to Myra, she's gonna be at the accessory shop. And now all we have to do is wait for the brass bar to open back up. And that is all the people that we had to help. Yeah, it's locked. Fooey. So we helped in a nutshell, we helped Ramsey. Yolanda, Jake, Colleen, Maya, Ma uh, Maya and Myra, Chase, Kathy, Hayden, and we also helped ourselves by getting our hot spring back. I wonder what Finn will say if we ask him about Alan. Maybe he'll say something interesting. Alan's bell rang. The power of fire has returned. Now he doesn't say anything interesting, which doesn't surprise me. So, it might seem like it's a small step, but you do get access to more s stuff, such as food, 
and it furthers your progress in the whole game. Now we can, and now we can put our focus on another bell. Uh, we gained access to some more mines, so that's good. We can find some better ores and things like that. We unlocked Phoebe, all that good stuff. So I'm just trying to waste some time here, and I'm not trying to like bore you guys, but I kind of want to fit this into this video. I don't really feel like spanning the one, the last red bell scene into another video because in the next video I'd actually like to start on the next bell. We will be doing Colin's bell, the yellow bell. It's funny because you don't you don't actually do them in order. I know that it says Alan, Ben, Colin, and then Edge I think is the last one but you do them in kind of a mashup order so still don't have very good tools so we're still using a lot of stamina for fishing and watering our crops and stuff like that which is why that hot spring is such a genius thing to have and since my time is running out I might actually just cut all the time out until we get up to four o'clock so I guess I'll see you guys then Alright, so we're back, and it's 4 o'clock, so the brass bar should be open. And actually, guys, just from jotting my memory, I do remember that the brass bar's problems have to do with the sea. So it turns out that everyone we've covered in this video is everyone that we've actually helped. So thank you all so much for watching. We're going to continue on in the next video.